Advent, December 24th, 2023. Past, present, future. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. Luke chapter 1, verse 32. It's nearly here. All that planning for meals, gifts, travel, all the build-up to Jesus' birth. It's easy to think that Christmas Day is the goal, the culmination. Today's gospel passage, however, challenges and counters that thinking. The angel Gabriel announces to Mary her pregnancy, but then he informs her of the life work of the yet unborn Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. First, the angel declares Jesus' greatness. Second, he identifies Jesus as the son or agent of God's will. Third, he evokes King David's reign. David was not a saint, yet God entrusted David and other kings with the key task of enacting God's purposes. Royal Psalms, like Psalm 72, spell out David's job description. Give the king your justice, O God. May he judge and rule your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May the mountains yield prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. The psalm envisions a world marked by justice, care for the poor, weak and needy, abundant food for all, the end of oppression. This is Jesus' life work and this Christmas day reminds us it is not finished. It is the continuous task of God's people, past, present, and future. Dr. Warren Carter, LaDonna Kramer Minders Professor of New Testament.